All right, here we go. Game number, I believe this is seven. Game number seven of the Yordle only challenge, guys. Boom, boom. We're busting out possibly the most iconic Yordle. Again, for those who maybe haven't seen me play on this account yet, this is the Yordle Supportal account. We are playing only Yordles as high as we can go. We've already played Rumble, already played Fizz, Corky, all kinds of crazy stuff. Get lots and lots of free damage on Tarek. <gasps> oh, almost got a free kill on Tarek. One more auto. Got to be careful going under turret. Not only because my poison refreshes turret or uh, aggro, but also airy. If you're wondering why I'm going airy Teemo, that's why. It can proc multiple times. So we walk up, we auto Q him. And as long as my poison is still ticking, it can reapply poison. Or we can reapply airy. Teemo is easily, in my opinion, the most underrated support in the entire game. Like, I genuinely think Teemo is so, so good into a lot of matchups. This being one of them, I think Teemo will do really, really great into Tark Lucian. One, because Lucian basically doesn't have a passive when I Q him. Tark doesn't have a passive when I Q him. Like, auto attack based lanes, Teemo's genuinely really good into. It's also really good into things like Leona. He can blind her for her stun. Champion scales like unbelievably well and fast. Goodbye. Like people just don't see it coming, man. They don't see it coming. All of a sudden their health bar's gone. They're like, wait, what in the world? How am I losing to Teemo support? This champion does so much insane amounts of damage with no or very few items. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm staying for the plate for sure. But if you stay for the plate, you pretty much have to stay for the wave too. Eh, I, we can leave it. It's not in the best spot, but... All right, I'm going to go... I could sell both my potions and wait a little bit for... Sork Shoes? I think that's what I actually do. I think I wait 40 gold and come back with Sork Shoes. What is a good support if your ADC is passive and just wants to farm? Leona. Best roamer in the game. Leona, Thresh. Um, if you're really feeling adventurous, you can go Pike. But I don't think Pike's a super great champion. Passive ADC equals roam. Yeah, you could also you could take that approach, or you could also go Lulu, who is like totally fine with it just being like a neutral lane state and just hyperscaling. Alright, his guardian's down. I got tier two boots, I'm doing big, big damage, guys. Big, big damage. He's blind, he's blind, he's doing nothing. Dude. <laughs> I love Teemo's support, man. He's dead. I freaking love Teemo's support, bro. It's just so fun. Alright. Trundle's winning the rest of, of the map, so like... Kha'Zix may gank bot, but I'm not too worried about him just like coming down here and like one-shotting us. See? Oh, close. He's dead. One more. Oh, come on! Oh, <laughs> so freaking close. Dude, we almost killed Lucian and we almost killed Kha'Zix. Oh, wow, that's so tragic, actually. Still in a great spot, though. We take Kha'Zix off the map. We almost kill him. We make him think twice about ganking us. Make it so we can't get our other lanes. He has to take a reset. I'm going. 
going for, dude. Woo! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I mean, as long as nobody's able to, like, follow up on a CC, Tarek stunning you there means absolutely nothing. Alright, I got. I do gotta push this really, really fast. J, uh, yeah, Lu Lucia's just gonna kill us, I guess. Yeah, we kind of greeted to push the wave in, but it happens. We're gonna go back. Uh, Leandri's not looking like the play since they have no tanks. I'm gonna go... Dude, honestly, Riftmaker looking pretty strong here. Uh, guys, Riftmaker angle. Riftmaker angle, boys. I don't think I've ever built Riftmaker on Teemo. We're, we're gonna go true damage Teemo, guys. True damage Omnivamp Teemo. Yes, sir. Okay, miss stun. Boomerang hit good. Uh, can't quite get it, but we blow two of their summoners, so like, pretty good. And we make them reset. And we get an additional Q in there. We see Kha'Zix mid. Leave the ward for her to clear. A little bit of extra gold in her pocket. I'm gonna put a Shroomy there. Auto Q, run out so we don't take turret damage. This Tarek's in a really, really rough spot. Tarek is so much better into like melee champions where like it's very obvi obvious like when they're going in. Like Leona. Little, little harder to hit Teemo, who has an ability that literally just makes them move faster. Hit him with the auto Q, run away, scurry away. Easy, baby. How's the rest of the map doing? Top struggling, mid struggling, but bot lane, we're, bro, we're just dominating. Don't even try jumping in on us, man. You remember what happened last time, buddy. She's got him, right? <gasps> Rip, he had flash. So close, man. Oh, this he's blinded, he's blinded. Oh, he's alting, though. Oh, I shouldn't have flashed. I shouldn't have flashed. The Tarek sustained two OP. Ah, oh, freaking rip, man. Well, we got Trundle ganking. I need to try to bait. Can't run past this minion wave though. You're on your own, bro. Ooh, that's Tark Alti too. <sighs> Their mid is here also. We're about to give a huge Trundle shutdown, I think. Yeah, I, I can't get in there, bro. I can't get in there. Maybe with Varus we can pick up the Syndra. Got him. Let's go, baby. Huge pickup. Huge pickup. Spell shield. I'm out. I'm out, guys. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I can't quite get my Rift Maker yet, but. If I go for Ultimate Hunter, I didn't. I go for Relentless. Yeah, Ultimate Hunter, you get uh, very, very low value out of it because your ulti is already very, very short. 
Like you, that, you get higher value when it's a higher cooldown to reduce, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, we got Relentless. I just like the movement speed. Finally made it to a live stream. Let's go. Yo, Kreeze QC. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, we want to send Varus bot here and either go top or mid. But since Dragon's up, I want to go mid. I want to start shrooming up. Guys, I am four kills in. My free damage in. Xiao Mi just gifted us up the Kreeze QC. Can we get some Ayoki Gasms in that chat? Appreciate you, man. <gasps> Tarik? Bro, that was the most psychotic Tarik play I have ever seen in my life, and it might actually work. That actually just worked. I mean, overall. Sort of. Like, it resulted in them killing Trundle and Sivir. Wow! Tarek, bro. That was so brave. I respect it, man. I respect it. Alright, I got my Rift Herald, or, uh, <laughs> Rift Maker. Five zero one team of support guys. Looking pretty good. No, yes. I was gonna say he's gonna clear the mushroom. A a that double airy proc. Hit him with the Q. Set up shrooms over there. Countering the gank. Throw one there. It's a pretty good combo, Xiaomi. Pretty good combo. Okay. Wow. Wait, he's W maxing Kha'Zix. I'm seeing that a lot now. I think that's the second or third time I've seen it today. Later, bro. It's a support gap. It's a freaking support gap, boys. Alright, uh, probably Nash's Tooth. Any tips to get out of plat? The tips to get out of any rank are the exact same. No matter the role, no matter the rank, fundamentals. Grandmaster players have better fundamentals than Diamond players. Challenger players have better fundamentals than Grandmaster players. In general. Over a long period of time. What are fundamentals? There's a lot of them. Things like knowing where to be on the map. Things like knowing decent builds. When your champion's strong. When your champion is weak. Against what they're strong and weak. Uh, you know, how to set up for objectives, vision control, trades, how to turn a one trade into a one lane, all kinds of stuff. He's blinded? Oh man, he's invisible though. I mean, I could flash for Kha'Zix, but... What? That hit me? Yeah, I mean, mechanics are definitely a fundamental. Like, being able to control your character and make them do what you want, like, in a in a second-to-second -second basis. But, like, on, I, I really think mechanics are, like, hugely overblown in this game. In League of Legends, there, there's very, very mechanically intensive games. Those are typically, like, fighting games or, like, sometimes, like, FPS. Like, Valorant. I, I think that is a very, very mechanically intensive game. I really don't think mechanics are that important in League of Legends. I think they're pretty overblown.
Hello, Camille. Oh. Wait, if she is ult, I'm, I'm actually dead. Ugh! <laughs> well, that guy's upset. It's because it comes naturally to you, Aoki? I don't think it does. I, I don't... I don't really think it does. Like, I I've been playing video games all my life, but, like, I've never played strategy games like this. I, I think, overall, League of Legends is a strategy game. Like, even when you're doing very, what people think of as, like, very mechanically intensive things, like, 30 different parts of, like, a ribbon combo, you're doing, okay, you can do that, but what do you do, like, why are you doing it? You're doing it to win a trade so that you can push them off of CS and have Pryo to rotate to another fight. Like, everything is just, like, strategic in this game. Like, very rarely does, like, the player with better reflexes just win the game. Like, very rarely does the player with better reflexes and the person that did their combos better, or whatever, win the game. Like, me mechanics are an extension of strategy in this game, in my opinion. Also, like, people will sit there and, like, practice their ribbon combos and stuff like that, but then not know when to apply them. Like, when do you use the shy combo? When do you E flash Q W E R, right? What what abilities need to be down for you to be able to do that combo and win the trade? What what of the enemy's abilities? And that gets more and more complex as you get higher and higher in rank, but like I just I just think mechanics are like totally overblown. Man, this Kha'Zix is just stealing everything, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and ignite Camille. At least we're winning the fights, but yeah, this Kha'Zix is stealing everything. Bro, I am so massive this game, by the way. No way I lose this, right? I don't kill anyone. Hey, I might kill Lucian. Let's go. We take that. When Tarzan told you in Five Fire to go in, you did? Okay, first of all, I want to make something very clear. I don't listen to Tarzan, all right? It's the other way around. Second of all, yes, I, I would say the more important aspect of, like, when he tells us to go in and when we commit to a play, like, the very bare fundamental is, like, being able to execute on that play. It's, it's not being able to execute on the play and play it mechanically correct that makes the play good. It's recognizing that the play needs to be made. And that's not a mechanic. That's strategy. Like, anyone can E-flash on Leona. Like, you can't tell me that's hard. It's recognizing when it needs to be done and executing on something that you know needs to be done. Like, I personally think that, like, the reason that I'm successful as, like, a tank player is, uh... I, I think Value said this in one of our tournaments. He says, he, he said that I have a really good eye for recognizing when people are called out. That's that's the hard part. Pressing E flash on someone is not the hard part. I'm not arguing that mechanics win the game. I'm saying both are needed. I mean, of course I agree with that. I, All that I've ever said, like, this is like this can be a mechanical game. I think that the mechanics in this game are heavily overblown in terms of importance. Like, yeah, you do need to be able to operate your mouse and know, like, three to five button combos and be able to do them, like, repeatedly in the moment that you need them. 
but I think that that is like literally like 20% of the game, whereas like the actual strategy behind when you're doing them is the other 80%. Alright, I gotta focus up, guys. As fun as this talk about mechanics has been, I gotta focus up. Because I'm 804 as Teemo support, and we're starting to lose. So I'm getting a little worried. Looks like we might be getting... Nope, he's dead. <gasps> it's not gonna kill him, man. 20 HP, bro. 20 HP. I'm calling on the power of jammy pants to win this game, guys. I need it. Please don't let him steal it again, bro. Please don't let him steal it again. I'll steal it. I'll steal it through the power of jammy pants. Okay, I pulled Camille off of them. She missed her stun. That champion's just not balanced, I think. Do not let me die. Do not let me die. I have a 1,000 gold shutdown on support, guys. I cannot die. I also have no mana. So if I could go back here, that'd be huge. Okay, Kha'Zix dead. She goes through the shroom. Oh my god, I can't blind, bro. She just got a 1,000 gold shutdown. Lucian just got a 1,000 gold for killing me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we get inhib though. That's cool. We can play for Baron now. The only thing I don't like about playing for Baron is that we've had two objectives stolen. <laughs> so I'm a little, uh, a little concerned. Still winnable though. Hyper winnable. I'm gonna take this if no one minds. I think I'm gonna take it before anyone realizes it's gone. Later! Oh. It's a fight. It's a good fight, it looks like. Decent fight. Okay, send your stun down. Oh! Bro, there's not much I can do about that, other than uh, not being there, which is obviously the correct decision. I don't know if there's much I can do. Uh, Camille ulting me. Looks like it's pretty good though. That Trundle is doing so much damage, bro. Trundle's so broken. Dude, Trundle is so broken, man. What is that? getting beaten to death by minions. Love to see it. Love to see it. Alright. Uh, I need to be playing more back in these fights, guys. In Sivert? No, it's not an end, guys. We have like four minions. S Sivert is definitely correct to not try to end here. It It's not an end. Trust. You're, you're gonna have to trust me, guys. The right call when you try to end in scenarios like that you get roped into fights that like look pretty winnable 
And even if you win it, you lose. I didn't mean to take that, swear to god. Um, but yeah, like, maybe we kill Tarek there. But we dive into their freaking nexus. And then two of us are dead, and they might be able to do Baron. I have Demolish? Yeah, it... Dude, it doesn't matter, though, man. Like, just, just, just trust us on this. In the Vietnam server, everyone is smart like you. <laughs> Trust me, they're not smart like me, alright? There aren't any players like me. Also, uh, so in the Vietnam server, everyone is smart like you, so getting out of plat is a pain in the butt. Um, now, I'll take this with a grain of salt because I've never played on another server. But I imagine that until you get to the higher ranks, every server is pretty similar. And by the higher ranks, I mean, like, servers probably start differentiating in terms of, like, skill. Like, around, like, Diamond 2-ish. But I don't know. I've never played on another server. But just knowing how, like, skill distribution typically works. I think it's probably something like that. Like, people really love to meme and say, like, North American Diamond is, like, you know... Korean gold or whatever, I really don't believe that. I I would have a very hard time believing Korean golds could be North American di diamond. Like, I definitely believe that um, in terms of, like, play style and, like, perhaps, like, different metas are popular there. Like, I know in Korea, like, even in the lower ranks, just, like, culturally, everyone gives, like, second blue buff to, uh, to mid laners. And we don't do that here. So that would maybe be an adjustment you would have to make if you're a mid laner. But I, I think if you're diamond level skill on NA, you could probably hit diamond on Korea. I definitely think there's a there's a difference at the higher levels of play. 100%. Yo, Dabby AR just gifted a sub out to Hermit K. This. Love the name, bro. Can we get some Ayoki Gasms in that chat? Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, thank you. It's very nice. Okay, I just survived here. We already got Baron. He oh my god. I don't survive there. Oh, we get wiped. Oh, yikes. Big yikes, boys. It also helps that Korea probably has the best internet and servers in the world. Oh, yeah. So, like, certain players and, like, certain champions will be better on lower ping. 100%. For sure. But that's what I'm saying. Like, that's not necessarily, like, a skill-dependent thing. Like, it could change the way, as you said, it, it could change the way you play and approach the game. Alright, I'm 9, 3, and 7, boys. We're one dragon from Seoul. We got Baron. We still have two of them. It's winnable. Mish Kami coming in with the prime for 20 months, man. Can we get some I Oki Gasms in that chat? Thank you so much, bud. Starting to look a little bad. <gasps> The god tier Naralty. Is it winnable? I don't think it is. I can't really like walk up because of Syndra. No. Maybe I should have just queued him. I tried to get an auto queue. Oh, Riff! <laughs> Let's go, baby! The auto was enough. Alright, I'm gonna threaten an end here. I'm probably gonna die doing it. No, I'm not. I just walk out of here.
Okay, Morellos, we're gonna go. We're de we're gonna go Zonias for sure. Just in just in case Syndra gets greedy and R's me. Yo, copy 99 coming in with that new sub. Can we get some Ayoki gasms in the chat? You are now supporting the greatest support alive. Thank you so freaking much, man. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you, thank you. And you put us on a scam train. Let's get scammed, boys. Oh, Lucian, that's a good pick. My up. Oh. I don't think I have to stop watch this. That was a great var assault. That was an excellent var assault. I almost panic stop watch because I know that Camille can like two or three shot me. Oh, I guess. Very chomped. One shot him, bro. Okay, we can get some uh, in hips here, I think. Her stun's up probably like every eight or nine seconds at this point. Maybe even less. <laughs> he knew. I was hoping he would just like blindly jump over there. Killed Syndra, bro. The like, that's like the third or fourth time that I've gotten a kill, and I'm like, oh man, they're gonna survive with like 10 HP. No, our soul. I'm super dead too. Turbo dead. Omega dead. TBH. Okay. 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 We're doing very low damage to the to the inhib, but we may get it anyways. Let's go. That's a good Tark stun. This game's getting wild, guys. This game's getting crazy. Let's go, we just overwhelm him. Woo, beat him to death, boys. Oh, uh, that's probably uh, an end scenario. It's probably an ender. Wop. Wop, baby. Get him. Get him, Trundy. Get him, Trundy! Alright, that's an end. GG, guys. What a wild game. What a wild game. I love playing Team of Support. I feel like it turns every single game into a fiesta. <laughs> Is this the Yordle account? Yep, Yordle only account, brother. Alright, let's take a look at the damage chart, boys and girls. Oh, it's not, it's not showing the damage chart. There it is. There it is. 36k. Guys, we did the second most damage of the game. Trundle just barely edged us out. If you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think about the building strat and all the arguments about mechanics versus macro down in the comments. Boys, take it easy. Peace. Uh...